Oh, I'm Ocean Henry II, Foxtrot Tango Golf, and this is my Christmas surplus haul of mostly VR90 Wave Guide hardware and some others. So, a friend of mine uh, recently got a haul of random surplus stuff, and he's not really that much into Wave Guides, so I got invited over and he was like, hey, everything with the Wave Guide on it, that's free game. So, this is what I got from that. So, we have an ancient HP 9 HP made VR90 attenuator with a really fun attenuation display. We got a moving short and a terminator for VR90. We got a VR90 isolator from ancient times. We got a VR90 frequency meter also from ancient times. We got a more compact VR90 attenuator and some VR90 hardware made in Sweden. Nice. Just like this one. This was a neat display also and it's nicely compact. This is also a rotary way in one, just like this. This is also the some really old, really attractive brown hammerite painting. Continuing on HP, I got a webguide mixer. Two crystal detectors. The HP type. I don't know if these are okay, but they'll play really nicely with my VR90 sweeper plugin. I got a the thermistor mount, but this one la seems to lack the real thermistor. Also with the older style brown hammerite. But still HP. I got a Gun diode mount and some VR90. I got a VR90 webguide mixer. It seems to be a balanced, balanced one or, may, or a subharmonic one because there's two diodes inside. Domestically designed and made. I got a mystery gun diode oscillator. There's a diode inside and a BIOS network for it, but. And it says gun and something I cannot make out. So, yep. So, I also got a 15.7 GHz oscillator, 10.52 GHz, which is on the license free band, I think, and a 15.88 GHz oscillator. So, all VR90. And then I got these weirdos. These are SMA to VR90 isolators. So you can see that there's, sorry, VR90 to SMA, so we have input and then output. This should, I'm not sure about the exact bandwidth. I'll have to sweep this with the sweeper and maybe the stuff at the club to see whether it actually works. But I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these which is really nice. I also got one of these old pin, di pin diode modulators, so it's basically a voltage variable attenuator. And the construction is really neat. There's a fin line, stepped fin line inside, and it's there's like, I think, eight or ten pin diodes from it to ground. Or like, as a short inside the waveguide, so it's a voltage variable short inside a waveguide. I got a magnetic AB made waveguide noise source. So if you look inside, you can see that there's the tube inside. I'm not sure if the tube is all right, but it's not. It's a, it's a cold cathode one as far as I can say because there's only this MHV high voltage BNC connector, old and silver plated, and it is this RG5 dyne, so not kilovolts, but still. Then I got this bag full of completely new VR 28 and VR 42 attenuators. All the VR 28 from Quasar was the 20 decibel ones and these are like new package never used. Just apparently they never also used them so they surplus them. There was also some 20 and 10 decibel VR22, VG 
sorry, not 22, but 42. VG22, so the British guide, but completely unused, pristine. Once, I'm really happy because my previous VR28 attenuators were all 30 or 35 decibels. So these are only 20 decibels and they're a bit more usable for me. And I have a pile of them so I can just put them all in fixtures and wherever I need. And then I also got this weird, it's just a straight through webguide with heat sinking. Yeah, and tellingly only this homebrew, this was the only webguide transition there. A homebrew one, so I suspect that whoever surplused these got rid of all the ancient HP crap and all the weird things. You cannot find any, the markings don't find me any data suits or anything, so makes sense that they surplus them because they have no idea what they do. And they have an isolator so you cannot use them as easy as a transition. Ancient frequency meter, which you don't need in this age of frequency counters. Ancient isolator, really ancient attenuator, another ancient attenuator. And really dirty and ancient webguide termination, which we will not see likely with this light. And as moving short, so this short inside of this moves. So if we loosen this, the short moves. Boop. So you can dial in an impedance you want from this one. So yeah, this was my before Christmas surplus haul. So yeah. Knowing people who are not that who are into microwaves, but not that much into waveguard stuff, you can result in you getting a nice haul of surplus because well they are not using anything for you and they were going into metal recycling, so I'm happy that they found a new home with me. We'll make a separate video about measuring this and me seeing if these gun oscillators and especially this mystery one works, and we'll see what we'll do with this nice unused gun diode mode. I'll likely have to find a sorting, make a sorting plate for the back of it, but that's quite easy. But yeah, this was also Henry 2, Foxrot Tango Golf.